What's going on, ESGN Nation? And welcome back to another MLB The Show, Road to the Show with Rashad Bolden. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen him, and today we are going to start off his new season here as we're going to move him over to MLB 20. Of course, MLB 20, uh, the show is the last show uh, that you can do year to year saves. And uh, yeah, we're going to bring him back. As you take a look here at his stats here from uh, his attributes and stuff from this uh, past season, it was a little bit of a disappointment, uh, to say the least, uh, because we were with a new, brand new team, a uh, winning team when we got here. And towards the end there, we just could not beat those wretched Kansas City Royals in the ALCS. Uh, and the Rangers came uh, short of winning, getting to the World Series. So now look, we got to see what our chances are here this time around is to do here in today's uh, episode as we start our road back onto the show and try to go back to the World Series here with his Texas Rangers. Now, Bolton has uh, his last, this will be his, if he, well, once he plays this season, he'll have his six years in and then he can go to uh, pretty much free agency and, and then start uh, negotiating, uh, you know, what his contracts want to be uh, to whatever team decides that want to go after him. And I'm sure... There's going to be quite a few teams that are going to want his services here after this season. But he still is on, uh, he still has another year here with them. And I'm sure they're going to try to sign him to a, uh, you know, to a multi-year deal. And I know for, I know for a fact here that I'm going to try to, not necessarily lowball them, but try my best to just say, you know what, one year and we'll sign and we'll see how that one year goes. Uh, so it's basically a one-year rental here for the Texas Rangers. Take a look at here at his uh, stats by count. Obviously, he does pretty well there in his stats, especially when it's a 1-0 count. When it comes to home runs there, he has hit 12 home runs this past season when he's in a 1-0 count. All right, so we'll take a look here at his averages, of course. So this is a scouting report against other teams that he's played against. Obviously, he's got more games against uh, NL West teams like the Rockies, Dodgers, Diamondbacks, because uh, you know he had, of course, started his career out there in San Diego, and he's very happy uh, for his time there in San Diego. But it was time for a change, and that's what he needed. So, if you guys have been following any of my roadshow series here, we've pretty much, uh, pretty much every single roadshow player, maybe with the exception of Ryu Atami, uh, have been on their, have been on with their original team, and then was traded. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, and Bolden happens to be the most recent here. Uh, of course, I think the, by far the probably the person I, I would think right now, that, or at least actually two, there's two that have been pretty successful with their trades, uh, and that has been uh, obviously Simon Unger, who's been to the Dodgers, and now he's with the New York Yankees in that Roadshow series. And the other one, uh, I would have to say, uh, would have to be probably I would say had I would have to have since he has not won a World Series but he's had a successful season even though he had a, a uh, injury and that would probably be Demarcus King so uh, yeah uh, those are probably my two by two favorites I love me I love all my roadshow characters but by far those are my two favorites with the storyline wise of just playing the game and see just seeing how things happen with them so to take a look here here's some of the retirees for this uh, for this uh, past season that we just finished here, some pretty well notable names here, Albert Pujols being one of them. Uh, of course, in real life, he is retired, uh, just like he is in this one here. So uh, Pujols, uh, you know, uh, spending his uh, his last uh, season there with the Angels, and of course a couple other notable names. And of course, we're, you know, this Roach series, you know, the Roach series has been a lot of fun. We're going to continue on. Uh, with this as long as we can um, you know these videos of course are gonna be posted from time to time uh, obviously during the summertime during baseball season we'll have them posted uh, of course I do have another uh, channel a second channel called ESGN net plus LP guys definitely go check it out there's a link down below uh, for the channel and of course uh, there should be some links there to all the other Rojo players including uh, a Rojo player over on the second channel uh, by the name of Alex Humberto so uh, fun time uh, doing these road show carry. I and I do find that uh, having different positions and playing different positions with different players and just uh, 
seeing where they go um, because Alex Humberto, if you haven't seen the series, that was I automatically just put him to a team as a, compared to the, all the other roadshow players you see on this channel. Uh, they had to go through the draft process. And of course, we do have a new roadshow character coming up here uh, on uh, MLB 23. Uh, and it'll be, of course, be on the second channel over there on ESGN at Plus LP. Uh, and it'll be coming out very soon. I'll have a video about that uh, in, in, uh, in due time. But as we take a look here, we've got some notable players here. Ian Kennedy, oh, I remember him in my uh, KSA Rolls uh, franchise there. He was uh, he was killing it for us there for quite some time there uh, before I, had to, I think uh, we ended up trading him off. But let's take a look here, just some uh, notable names there. Of course, some names that are not really, say, Urban Santana. There you see, uh, Twins fans, Kansas City Royals fans know about this guy here. He did some damage to, <coughs> to some, uh, my, some of my buddies there, big Royals fans. Uh, but then you see, take a look here. We're talking, talking obviously to our sports agent from 989 Sports, uh, and John Kent, and we're talking to him. And of course, he's just trying to give us some sound advice for this upcoming uh, year. Now, of course, next year, like I said, uh, we'll be out of arbitration, and we'll be going to free agency. And then we could pick and choose what team you know, we'll have. Huge, hopefully, a bunch of offers coming from different teams wanting our services. And of course, we're going to try to do our best to try to find the one that we feel like it is a good fit for us. Now, obviously, I would love to play for my Red Sox, but it just it all depends on, really depends on what type of pitching they have. Um, you know, that's what I'm looking for. First and foremost, we have a solid bullpen, solid uh, rotation. Uh, and if, you know, if I can come in there and help them out in the lineup and that's the, what they need, that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, but, you know, Red Sox is not my other team, you know. There's just other teams there, just whoever's the hot team there that who are playoff contention wise. Because at this point, you know we're 24 years of age. We're just in our getting in our prime uh, of our career, and you know we want to, you know we want to try to win some championships here, and you know where we're at. So, so we take a look here. Uh, we play the first. I played. Went ahead and played the first five games offline, uh, and there you see we just did not do so well there. Uh, with, the, with the exception of that car or the uh, Chicago series there did pretty well uh, So we're gonna play another five games here and these are the five games you guys are gonna see of course We ended the season with a 383 average uh, And then of course uh, 54 home runs 166 RBIs 67 stolen bases uh, 711 uh, 711 at bats and we had a slugging percentage of po uh, 0.734 uh, so you take a look here at our standings there, and you see in the Cactus League, we're just third to the bottom there. Colorado being the worst in the Cactus League there. Uh, they're out there in Arizona. So as you take a look here, uh, we're going to take a look and uh, we'll see some of our lineup here. Then, of course, this is not the official lineup for the season. This is just the, uh, you know, our uh, all our uh, spring training lineup. And of course, these guys will change. So we we'll, might bring up some a couple guys here, here and there, uh, for the most part here. And of course, remember, I don't have any control in Rose Show who gets called up and who gets called down. Um, but you know, hopefully, the the coaches and, and the and the organization will make some good choices here. And it looks like we got some pretty good lineup there for the most part. We got Jay Bruce, uh, Charlie Beavis, uh, who are really good players. Uh, and then of course, your rotation there, Martin Perez. Uh, Derek Holland, which is by far one of my favorites, uh, Tommy Leal, and of course Trey Flood and Brad Hand round out the day or the fourth or fifth uh, starters there. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look here and see the rest of the bullpen. And of course, you know this is a 40-man roster, so we're gonna have pretty much everybody uh, from both, uh, you know, from the uh, from the AAA and AA coming up. And, you know, they're going to try to do their best, just like we were several years ago, trying to show what we can do uh, as a as an organization and uh, just try to put together a good team out there that can help us uh, get to the world's or at least get to the playoffs. And, of course, last year we came in, uh, you know, midway through. Uh, Rangers had a tough time there. They had a, a really, you know, trying uh, episodes there with the uh, Seattle Mariners. Uh, who you know, normally in Sims they always are pretty good. Um, well, you see they're six and one right now in the Cactus League, so they're continuing off where they left off from last season. Even though we did knock them off towards the end, 
and we're gonna try to see if we can do that again here in uh, this upcoming season. So we're gonna do have an injury of one player there with a elbow inflam inflammation, if I can speak right, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into back into the game here. So we're currently right now one and four in the first five games of the season, taking on the uh, Dodgers or excuse me the Angels here. Uh, so you, you got uh, Mike Trout and company here, and of course fans coming out here, getting some autographs signed, and uh, getting those, uh, checking out who some of these rookies are, and of course we're going to be taking on, of, of all things, Hugh Darvish here in this one. Uh, so we'll see what we can do against Hugh Darvish. There you see this is the first start already in, in the spring, uh, 1-0, 3-0 uh, ERA. You know, just doing those you Darvish type of numbers. So we'll see what he can do here at the top of the first. 2-2 two -two count. One on and one out. And Bolden looking for a pitch here. And see if, what he can do here as he knocks this one here high and deep over to left center field. And this one's going to be easily caught there. But, of course, the Trout. Trout. Uh, uh, Mike Trout there. Picking up the ball and making a nice catch there. Nice hustle there from Trout. And uh, not so much a good hit there for Bolden. Hit that one deep, but not deep enough. You go to the top of the second. We'll see what we can do here with one on and two out. And Bolden's going to knock this one over to left field. This is going to go high and deep, but it's going to stay in the ball, in the in the outfield, and it's going to be out for a quick one, two, three there in the bottom half or the top half of the second. Go to the top half of the fourth with one on and with two away. Bolden looking for a, he has a 1-0 pitch here, and he's going to get underneath this one just a little too much. That's going to go straight up to the catcher, and that is going to be a quick out. So not a good start here for Bolden whatsoever. He's had a rough go here in these first five games. Look like it's going to continue on now here in this sixth one. Go to the top of the six, two on, one on, uh, I should say two out, one on. 2-0 count here for him as he's going to take this one here. And again, it gets underneath this one here. This is going to go deep enough to right field. And it's going to stay in foul territory. And it's going to be easy for the right fielder to get to it for the final. As we see, yeah, not a good go here for us. As uh, we do win this game against the Angels, 5 nothing, But not a good day here for Bolden as uh, he goes 0-4 for 4 here in uh, his sixth uh, uh, spring training game here with the Rangers. Remember, this is going to be his first full year with the Rangers. So he's got to get kind of easy. You know, he's been getting acclimated with the guys. He knows, you know, he's been hanging out with them during the offseason. And, uh, you know, of course, we've got some new faces here. And, uh, of course, he's, you know, still one of them. But, you know, that chemistry that you got to have on the field there with your teammates and whatnot, you know, still hasn't got there just yet. And hopefully by opening day, uh, you know, or at least hopefully by the in the first month of the season, they are start jelly. And that's always easy. And of course, Bolden's always had a pretty slow start when it comes to uh, his, uh, you know, starting the career, or start, at least starting his uh, season yeah, for his career. So, bottom of the first here as we get to the seventh game, taking on the White Sox here today. And we'll see what we can get do against the South si Southside Boys here. As uh, we got a career, got an 11 game hitting streak on our hands. Uh, of course, this is not going to affect us in the spring training here, but uh, that is uh, something to think about as we go into the start of this new season. So we do have a challenge here. We'll try to see if we can uh, get this challenge won. Nobody on board here. Two or one away. This is a 2-0 count here. That's going to bounce off the right field wall, and this is going to be great enough for a double. Nice hustle there from Bolden as he does complete the challenge. And so that's going to be helpful for him. And, of course, uh, getting some extra bonuses there for his uh, uh, for his contact. As he sells that one right over the right fielder's head off the wall there. So, nice double here. As we'll see, Beavis now come up here. He's going to find a gapper out there near the 830 or 8, 8, uh, 50, excuse me, 8, the 385 sign. I'm going to read it correctly. Jeez. Two-run shot, actually. Hits off the top of the... The uh, fence out there, nice job, nice, uh, nice power there from him. As uh, of course him and Bolden kind of going back and forth between, uh, you know, hitters three and four. Um, we'll see how that's going to work out here. I noticed that here at least in spring, at least in spring training, that's how they were doing it. We'll see if that can continue here in the 
start of the season. Now, Bolden up to bat here, bottom of the second with one on and one out. And he's going to crack this one here over to the right field here. Fans are going to up on their seats here. They're going to maybe see a home run here. This one's going to go up and over, and that's a home run. Nice job there for Bolden as he gets home run number one for himself here in the spring training. And uh, trust me, I was uh, just thinking, I was thinking, the whole time I was playing this, I was like, oh, please hit a home run already by now. We This is the seventh game here, and you have not hit a home run yet. Like, you are a machine here dude like you got to get something going and you know i don't want to rush things but you know like i say he does have a slow start for whatever reason and uh you know start you know this home run might be a start of something here uh but of course the, you know these are not official so uh we'll have to see if he can get a good jump on it as we get to uh the start of the season so two out two on here as we're at the bottom of the third we're leading this one eight nothing here against the white Sox, and this one's going to be a nice hit there from bolden nice job as he rips that one out to uh shallow center field for a, a base hit there and it also drives in a run so nice play there from bolden nice job of uh, getting the runner in to score as the white Sox now have to come out here and have a little chat with their uh, pitcher here and see what's going on in his head go to the bottom of the fifth we'll see now we're up uh, now 10 nothing here so now full count here for bolden as uh, we'll see if he can try to get something going here for himself and no oh, he does a great job there drawing the walk so he will go ahead and take the walk that means now two runners on board and damian jackson's gonna have to you know go back to the uh heel there and think about what he's gonna have to try to do here against beavis but we'll go ahead and take go ahead and come back and we'll win this one here as Bolden goes three for three in this ball game with a home run, a double, three RBIs, two runs score, and of course obviously a walk there as they win their seven win uh, a another game here now two in a row here as they win game seven here in spring training. Nice victory there for them as things are starting to turn around here. Derek Holland, of course three innings of work. For him had a nice day picked up the win as uh, Bolden like I said nice day for there for him three for three at home run falling getting that home run off his back there able to do some damage there with the bat as we're custom to see here in his road to show so now we go to the third game here in today's episode we still got two more because we're gonna play uh, a total of five uh, preseason games and then we're gonna sim the rest but as we take a look here and uh, we're playing against the Dodgers and of course dodgers not the dodgers uh, that we know and love or at least some of us love <laughs> in real in real life uh but there you see uh ryu there you see his numbers there and uh, he still got some stuff he still got some good arm on him and at least in this uh in this version of uh road show we'll see what he can do here against bolden as this should be a good uh nice little matchup between these two and oh this time ryu gets the uh win here it takes the first win here between the two of them as he gets Bolden to strike out there as he throws inside there. Nice job. As, uh, you know, he's kind of, uh, he likes to, you know, he likes pulling the ball. And that time around, he just couldn't get around it, uh, get around that ball too quickly. So now, second matchup between these two here. It's 5 nothing. Dodgers lead this one. As we'll see what Bolden can do here. Nobody on board. Nobody out. So nice uh, job here. Let's see if Bolden can try to lead off here on the right foot. And he's going to uh, ground this one over to the second baseman for an easy play. And that is going to be out number one. So, Bolden not too patient there at that at bat. But for the most part here, he's going to, you know, he's going to shrug that off and just try, try to come back strong here in this next at bat. And now he has a good opportunity here as he has a full bases loaded here, full count. And he's going to go ahead and be patient and take that ball. As that ball's, uh, that uh, walk's now going to drive in a run. It's Mike Miner is on the heel and they have given up a run here it's now five to one so great job there from bolden taking his time here and not just swinging at anything here but reading that pitch very well and drawing himself a walk at but dodgers will go ahead and win this one anyway as they'll win this one five to one is your final bolden goes 0 for two here in today's game he got pulled out pretty quickly as uh you know he has not been too too great here in these uh you know uh, a total of eight games so far here. He's only had uh, one successful 
uh, you know, day of uh, one of the successful games so far here. Uh, goes 0 for 2. Uh, he did drive in a run and obviously uh, draw to walk. And that's going to help. Uh, unfortunately, not going to help him too much as they do just get that one run. Rangers are going to have to go back to the drawing board here and get ready for this next game coming up against the Rockies as they'll lose this one 5 to 1. And they see Ryu, four innings of work, two hits, and of course, uh, five strikeouts there for him. Two walks that he gave up in the game there against us. So now we go to the ninth game of the season, fourth game here today that you're watching in today's episode. As uh, the Rockies have, of course, above 500 here right now, playing some pretty decent, good baseball right now in spring training. And we'll see if that will continue here today as they take on us in this one. As Bolden's up to bat here. Bolden right now, 346 average. We'll see what he can do here. As he pops this one here high and deep over the left field, that one's going to drop down. And it should be good enough for a double as he's going to go ahead and slide in there. Nice job as he's able to move the runner. Advance the runner up 90 feet to the third and uh, with only one out there. So they got a good opportunity to bring home a run. Well, unfortunately, they do not do that. But Car or the Rockies do get three runs, but Bolton's like, nope, we're going to try to put something up on ourselves. And that's what he does there is he's going to run this one out. He's going to try to go for a triple. He gets in there. and Oh, they say he's out. What? Nah, my boy got some, he got some wheels. But no, they say he's out, so they're gonna throw him out. Let's see how let's see how good of this uh, throw was. It was a good. Uh, oh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe they did get him. I don't know. You guys be the judge. Let me know down below in the in the comment section. But anyway, we'll see it, him not nah, foul that one off. So now two two runners on the corners here with two out. See what he can do in the fourth. And uh, well, fortunately, the fourth inning is gonna be over with with that swing. Bolden going to leave two stranded out there after he went for a uh, triple there. They'll credit him for a double for that. But unfortunately, that is how this one's going to end as Bolden goes two for three in the ball game. He had two doubles. And, of course, uh, the Rockies win this one five to three is your final as the Rockies put up a nice win here today. And... Uh, you can't get mad at that, but that was a good throw. I really, tr truly, I mean, I, I don't know. I really thought he could get the triple, but, uh, yeah, I must have missed. I didn't, I didn't think the uh, center fielder had an arm on him. <laughs> what can I say? All right, so well, we'll go ahead and now get to the uh, for last game of the here in today's episode as uh, we'll see this uh, final game here. This will be the 10th game of the uh, spring training, and we're taking on the A's. And there you see Carlos Stein. Two starts so far here. He's over one. Uh, he has an ERA that we hopefully can take advantage of, 6.55. He's been 11 innings of work. He's got like, given up 18 hits. So let's see if we can do some damage against him and try to bring home a run. Or just try to bring home some runs here and try to bring home a victory. So let's see if we can get the dub here today as we see a runner on first with one out, one count, and Bolden. Going to chop this one there. Nice job there from the pitcher. Trying to turn the double play, and they do so. And that's a nice job. We get a twin killing there. So now two away on top of the third. Full count here for Bolden as he pops this one up there to the right field or for the first baseman. And the first baseman has no problem as he will fly out to another fellow first baseman for the final out of the inning. So, so far, not a good day here for Bolden here, especially against these Oakland A's who are not uh, so well. They did not do so well last season in this Rojo series. We'll see now we're up by a run, 3-2, and Bolden's going to hit a base hit over there to right field. That's going to bring in a uh, runner now, Vancey, up to 90 feet to second. So runners on first and second, but we'll turn around and we'll win this one here as Bolden gets, uh, he'll have, Couple more at bats uh, before he's pulled out of the game. He'll go one for three in actually today's game. And uh, of course, uh, there you see uh, we get the victory. Nice job as uh, we win this one seven to three. Bolton didn't do too much here today, but you know, a victory is a victory no matter how you do it. Everybody's, uh, you know, uh, collaborating <laughs> to say. And uh, helping each other out with a victory. So not too bad here, you know. 
rough day. You know, we don't see the numbers that Bolden has been getting for the most part here. You know, like I said, he does have a rough go here. Hopefully that will change once we start the season. And again, to you know, when games start to matter. So as we take a look here right now, currently he has uh, one home run, six RBIs, uh, a 376 average, and uh, on base there 412 and a slugging 563. We're going to go ahead and advance to the finish of the uh, spring training here, and we're going to see how he's going to fare. As we take a look here, you see we kind of moved up some, Chicago, San Francisco, and Dodgers and Oakland are, are below us now, so we're not dead last, <laughs> uh, but we're in the bottom three, uh, at least the bottom third of the Cactus League right now. So, you know, like I said, you know, we got some. I mean, that just shows us that we have some. There's some things that we need to work out, and hopefully, we can get those, uh, you know, some of those things worked out early on and have a successful season. As we go ahead and show the sim here, and there you see, yeah, spring training is done. And we'll get into uh, seeing what we can try to do. Uh, as you see there, uh, Bolden did have a pretty successful there. He had, uh, I forgot how many exactly, I mean, what he, his numbers were for uh, for spring training. But he uh, actually had a, those last games there. He was really starting to uh, get fired up and get going. So now as we take a look here, we're going to get started with the, uh, obviously, the regular season. And we go on the road to start off here. As we have a four-game series against those damn Mariners. So, four games against them. We'll see how we'll do against them. It will showcase that game, or at least that series, as well as the Angels. Coming up in the next episode, you guys. Stay tuned for more here on the channel. As we get ready for episode 240. As we head up to the Emerald City, a.k.a. Seattle, Washington. And we'll see what we can do against those Mariners. Hopefully... We can have a successful uh, start of the season, have a, you know, try to take three out of four out of this series and uh, get on top of this uh, AL West division early as we have two AL West division rivals who we have to play against in the first episode. So we'll see how things go and definitely hope you guys will definitely check it out. But stay tuned for that. It'll be up here in the next day or two. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please... Uh, leave a like that helps a lot it helps uh, you know get these uh, this series out there not to mention if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified of this series or any other series here on the channel follow us on facebook twitter and discord and not to mention we do have a uh, instagram now uh, i finally decided to go ahead and get one out there i'm not gonna put i don't know how often we post stuff on there but you know we got one now and of course uh, check us out over our second channel here on youtube on ESGN Net Plus LP, as we got another great roadshow series over there as well with Alex and Berto, and of course other great series as well. Just not just baseball, we got football, uh, soccer, and so much more. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more here on the channel. As always, keep yourselves healthy. I will see you all.